Hello there, Cancers. Welcome. So, um, big message here. Separation of professional life and love life, okay? So that means um, might be a good idea for you guys not to dabble with the same people that you, um, like, date the same people that you work with. So I, I feel like something, some flirtation, some um, brewing interest um, from people that you work with, okay? So from co co-workers, uh, temptation coming through from co-workers, solicitations coming through from, from co-workers. So be a little bit careful about that because I feel like it can really hurt your credibility and it can also create an awkward uh, work environment in the future, okay? I feel like some of you might have recently um, found a job, enter a new um, work environment. And I feel like the learning curve is a little bit steep. So it feels like you might be shifting into more of a technical field and um there is they're, they're saying like forgetfulness so whatever you're doing make sure that the steps are all taken into account okay so don't skip steps be sure to keep everything like you know written down or itemized uh use mnemonic devices if you need to to make sure that you retain all the information so that you don't skip steps you don't forget things okay and also if you have, you know, like good looking co-workers as well, don't get distracted and, you know, hang out too long at the water cooler. Get the work done because I feel like you're still under review. You're still under a lot of scrutiny. You might be just, you might be like a new hire. You might shift it into a new position. So just make sure that you're very diligent when it comes to work, okay? There's a lot of opportunities here overall for leisure activities, going out with coworkers, going out with friends, but I do sense that you want to keep that separation. Personal life and professional life needs to be kept separate, okay? Um, I feel like there, for those in relationships, there is a newfound sense of mutual understanding between you and a relationship partner. So this means that if in the past you you weren't sure, like, you know, if you started dating or you've been dating for some time, you're just like, where are things headed? Where are we going? I feel like a uh, a step like they're, they're saying like an escalation in the relationship so that means taking the relationship to the next level committing to date each other exclusively um not seeing other people and and you know uh, moving in together even i feel moving in together buying property together purchasing things together and for some of you getting a pet together so i feel like that element here about uh having a lot of success having a lot of um consensus agreement with a relationship partner for singles i do see a massive amount of flirtation in your work environment and um, i would urge you to try to be careful okay and then others i feel almost like some of you are kind of like um so i i feel like there's a lot of good things and opportunities for going out but i feel that some of you are airing on the safe side, meaning you're not really going out or you might have gone out and run into people from your past that you don't really want to see. And so that's going to put you back into, you know, sequestering yourself. So if you're going to do it, just enjoy it yourself. Don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about who you run across. They can, you know, they've already like, it, just, just move on from it. So I feel like it doesn't have to be weird. It doesn't have to be awkward unless you make it weird and awkward. So the advice here is do what you got to do. If you want to go out, if you want to have fun, it doesn't matter who you come in uh, across. It's going to be fine. You know, do your own thing. So don't let somebody else's presence um, restrict you from where you go, who you hang out with and, and what you want to do. Okay. So that's just something I want you to, um, Keep in mind what I feel though is um, I, I do see an element here about somebody being in a relationship and flirting in the work environment so if that's you please stop okay so I feel like there's an element here about um, you know mixing business with pleasure and not being not being transparent about you know that you're in a relationship with somebody else and you're flirting with another person or vice versa that could be the partner but I feel the energy might be coming from your end so be very careful be very stealthy and be very transparent just aim for honesty in all of your dealings because you know there is such a thing as karma okay um, financially I feel like it's not as busy um, as it was like you know, the beginning of the year, because I feel like there's a little bit of a slowdown when it comes to where your money is going, where, how work is moving along for you. I do feel for some of you, um, you're not making the type of money that you want. Okay. And most of us aren't, 
but and we always want more but the thing that i'm seeing here is uh your opportunities when it comes to like some of you might be uh pigeonholed into a certain career track because in the past three places that you have been employed you've always assumed that role and so you feel like you feel like wow my career is so singular there's only one experience that i've accumulated after all these years even though you worked at different jobs you you've had like a, the same set of skills you develop and hone in on those same set of skills and you feel like your career options are limited and then for others of you it feels like you need a lot more resume boosting uh, activity so that means really don't, like don't focus so much on the work itself like when you're writing your resume but think about the accomplishments that you've achieved in those work environment emphasize you know your organizational skills what you were able to achieve your ambition what you were able to achieve and things like that because i feel like your skills need to be you need to market yourself better and i feel like you need to find ways to uh transfer your skills into a new niche um like a new department or new um field or a new endeavor okay so rewriting it rather than um than feeling pigeonholed into you know one career path that's going to be essential for you um i do feel some of you like you're you're kind of like they're they're saying physically just worn out and so my advice here is overall take a break for yourself and you're just feeling like there's so much work to be done and i can't really take a vacation uh take care of your emotional health and your mental health that's really important okay I know that birthday time is coming for you and I wish like the reading was a little bit more positive because I, I do want you to end on a good note, but it feels to me like there are a lot of things lingering, um, cancers. There are a lot of things just like straggling, bumbling along, rolling along, you know, and it feels like there are a lot of unresolved issues. The, the only thing I feel is relationship seems to be going well, but it seems like there's a lot of things tugging at you, a lot of responsibilities and, and people, just things that you need to take care of, like people coming to you, resolve this, take care of this, you know, clean this up. And, and it, it feels like very pestering. So I feel like you're keeping yourself grounded. You know, you, you value hard work and you actually work very hard. I just feel like there is so much you, like you're in such high demand but it feels in a way that can be a little bit disruptive okay so keep your wits about you keep grounded okay i'll talk to you soon take care and uh happy birthday as well for those celebrating this month okay take care bye bye